In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite way to defend the trips tight end. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And I have to tell you that this nickel triple is very fastly becoming uh, my favorite defense in the entire game. It's definitely the most fun defense in the entire game because the pressure that you can get from this formation is absolutely incredible. And I'm going to talk about that in this video. I'm going to show you a blitz that you can utilize. It's a simple, uh, it's a very simple scheme, okay? So basically, I'm going to give you a two-play mini scheme. The first thing we're going to do is show you the pressure then we're going to show you a coverage that can complement the pressure and 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 then we'll talk a little bit about how you can learn more about this defense so uh the the play that we're going to talk about that we're in the nickel triple formation this can be found in several different playbooks the playbook that i'm currently using with this is the steelers playbook and the reason why is because it has the 46 uh bear so i like to use that for pro sets um i've been kind of messing with that as of late but if you wanted to, you could just run this out of Chicago. Um, you could also run this out of Baltimore, depending on if you like the two four five odd better or the or the three three five uh, odd. Excuse me. But the defense that we're going to be talking about today is the cover one linebacker blitz. Now, um, you could actually run the same concept from cover two man. Um, and the reason why you would want maybe want to do that is because you're going to get better. Um, you, you can run the rest of the defense. So you could run like cover six and it would look exactly the same as cover two man. So you could do either of those, honestly. Um, in this video, I, th I want to show you a simple two-play mini scheme. And the way that I'm going to do that is cover one linebacker blitz press. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to come out and PA counter go. Now, what is so difficult about trip side in, when we talk about getting pressure against trips tight end, is the, the fact is play action blocking is significantly different than standard blocking and secondly pa counter go um spamming buttons a guy that i really respect in the community and i would really argue with anybody that spamming is the best trips tight end player the most seasoned um player this year in trips tight end by far and so uh what he says is pa counter go is the best play in the game not just because of the route combo but more so because of the blocking that you're going to get out of PA counter go. It's very tough to get pressure uh, on this on this uh, play because you can uh, cancel the play action and pick up a lot of pressure. Let me show you a quick example, and then we're going to talk about the rest of the defense. So cover one linebacker blitz, and just to kind of illustrate this, what we're going to do here um, is we're just going to send this corner. So you would think against trips tight end, you could just send this corner uh, on a five-man pressure, and you should be able to get pressure against PA counter go. Well, you would be correct if um, I was running it like this and I wasn't canceling my play action. As you can see, I get great pressure, incredible pressure actually, right? But if I cancel my play action, and again, this also causes some problems because now my guy that is on Johnson or on Miller is not able to play him man to man. So I'm not going to get a jam there. That's a big deal in my opinion. I want to be able to press every receiver. I really like press man right now. So, uh, anyways, so I'm coming down. We're sending five. We've uh, what we would probably do in a, in a case like this. Honest, actually, I think are we sending six? Yeah, we're sending six. I'm sorry. So you would man this guy up here. You would do something like this. Okay. So you'll see the blitz won't be as good. But but what the real the real crux of this is watch what I can do with my quarterback. I could hit the R trigger, cancel it, and he's gonna go over and block that guy. And then I can got then I got time to make a read. Okay. So that's a big big reason uh, for. Uh, you know, kind of dealing with trips tied in is that's one of the major issues. Now we could send six, right? We could send six and we could send this pressure right here. And this pressure, honestly, if they max pro, so they block their tight end, you should see this pressure still for the most part won't come in. As you can see right there, it gets picked up perfectly, right? Um, six on six blocking or six on, uh, or seven on six blocking. Yeah. Okay. So now what I wanted to kind of continue to talk through though with this is because of this animation that you're going to get from the running back, like I said, you can pick up a lot of different blitzes, okay? You can pick up a lot of different blitzes. However, I'm going to audible to a play that's not a play action play and I'm going to block my running back, okay? What you're going to see is it's going to be significantly different in how it picks this up. It doesn't really pick it up. As you can see, the pressure comes in. That is why PA counter go specifically is probably the best blocking uh, play in the game because if I wanted to, if the blitz is coming off the left, then I'll cancel that play action. If the blitz is coming off the right, I don't even have to. I can just let it run, or I could cancel it a little bit earlier and even be, you know, more effective against this. Okay, so that's kind of the dilemma that we're in. Now I'm going to show you how to get around that with this coverage. Another thing I want to show you just really quickly here is the one problem. So if I press coverage here, 
you're going to see that circle, and this is a big, big deal when we're trying to play an aggressive style, cover one style defense. So let's say that I'm like this, and let's just say, you know, I'm going to put this guy on a purple just to kind of imitate, like I'm going to go out to the tight end or go out to the running back or something, right? In a situation like this, Scotty Miller's not going to get jammed. Okay, there's no press going to happen. So I can go PA counter go. I know I got a real fast receiver there. I got a free release. And now I got a chance to be able to burn the coverage over the top because there was never, there was a, a free access throw. We want to take as much of that as way as we possibly can, especially when you're defending a spread style set. So the way that we're going to do this is instead of out of the cover one specifically. So you're going to notice here, if I go to cover two man, it's, a, it's completely different. As you can see, I can get a jam. So now, if I send Miller deep, he it's not a free access throw, right? And I got safety help, but as you can see, I get, I get better coverage is the bottom line. So we want to be able to get that jam on that guy, or at least the illusion of the jam, so that the quarterback or so that the offense that we're facing has to little, mentally go, I could get pressed here. I could get pressed here, okay? Um, and I don't have a free access throw. So... Uh, what we're going to do to do that is we're going to just show blitz. Now, look at this. This guy comes down here and is in press alignment on this player. And you'll see that now he doesn't get free access throw. And now I can, you know, easily cover that or we can, you know, there's a lot of things we can do to cover that. Um, but you see what I'm talking about. We don't have that free access. So, you know, in a, in a very simplified version of, you know, how pe most people like to play, um, whoops, I'm sorry, I messed up, uh, how most people like to play, if you're sending heavy pressure at them, typically what you're going to get is you're going to get a slant, you're going to get a post, and then what's going to happen here, now we don't have a free access throw. Now, he could throw that, but I've got a better shot at being able to get over to user that because we don't let the receiver run free off the line of scrimmage. And if you have good corners in Madden Ultimate Team, or if you were running this in regs, I'd recommend running with, with either the Ravens or with the um, or with the Bucks. You could run this with the Bucks. You could also run the Patriots. You're going to be significantly better. So now what we got to do is figure out the pressure. So um, we show blitz, and then all we're going to do, it's actually really simple. We're going to globally blitz our linebackers. And then we're just going to use her. So if the running back goes on a route, which to be completely honest with you, is very rare out of trips tied in this year. Most people aren't sending the running back on a route out of trips tied in. They are just using PA counter go to kind of do everything to, because of how good the play action blocking is. So all I'm going to do is pass commit. And literally all I did was I showed blitz. I uh, globally blitzed my linebackers. I grabbed that deep safety and brought him over the center. And we're just going to hold left trigger. Okay, and what you're going to see here is we're going to get this A gap and edge combo pressure that will absolutely crucify this type of blocking mechanic. Okay, it's a six man pressure one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're sending six, they're blocking six, and we're going to get two frees. So let me show you what's going to happen here. Now I'm going to try to pick it up, and as you can see, I'm going to get A gap pressure. The running back can never be right if you blitz it like this. That's why I love this concept. So now what they're going to start to do is they're going to go to another blocking scheme. So they're going to go to curl flat, and they're going to block uh, the tight end. Now, if you notice what you just saw happen uh, to my my guy there, uh, all you have to do is man align and press. But what I would do, you want this guy to blitz from depth, ideally. So you want him to kind of be right there. But anyway, this is kind of the, the core concept. So now the running back's going to go on a route, but the tight end is going to stay in the block. Watch this corner on the right side. Watch the logic. He's actually going to take that running back in man to man now and you're still going to be fine now because of that little glitch with the formation i think i got a little bit weirded out so again i'll show this one more time so show blitz blitz the linebackers if you want to contain uh you can you can qb contain on the edge that'll just help with rollouts um it'll help with a lot of things actually but notice if the running back goes on a route with the tight end blocks you still are going to be able to pick this up or you're still going to be able to uh, be man locked across the board okay so that's a huge 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 deal the other thing I want to quickly point out about this defense is let's say, for example, that we get a max protect type of situation. Okay, so we're met, they're max protecting at us here. Uh, so they're going to block the tight end and the running back to try to pick this up. What you're going to notice here is this isn't going to come in, but it's going to be a very scary pressure because of the way that they have to pick this block up. Normally, the running back, if you're coming off the edge, the running back will get a cut block typically. So it's a really easy, like you can cut him and then roll out kind of thing. With this, what you should see here at the snap of the ball is the pressure is going to still come right through the A-gap. So if they don't cancel that play action, our pressure is coming right down the middle. 
literally right down the middle, and we're going to get pressure against Max Protect. Now, so what they have to do, and an experienced trip side in player would know to do this, but what they have to do is they have to cancel the play action, right? Remember, we're still man locked across the board. When the tight end is now blocking, that frees this guy on the right side up to do some stuff as well. Be a QB spy, be a rat in the hole. There's different things that he can do as well. That's why this is probably my favorite defense in the game right now. But anyways, what you're going to see is, again, we've got press alignment across the board. Really, really good. We're, we're going to get a jam. We're going to take away all those free access throws. And then they're going to cancel this play action. But look at that right there. Now, that's actually rare that he does cut him. Most of the time, when that A-gap blitzer comes up, he's just going to he's gonna pick him up, especially if they cancel the play action. But what you should see most of the time is he's just going to push this pocket. So here, he, and he is cutting him fairly well there. Look at circle take the crosser, though. See that? Tight end black, match protect, tight end blocks. Now you don't have to really worry about the number three to the trips. Okay? You don't really have to deal with that. If they're max protecting, and you'll get a shed, trust me. Uh, this this defense has the best sheds in the game, in my opinion. Um, you'll get a shed if you get a max pro. But the cool part about this is, boom. And then now look, there's no access throws. And we play pretty solid across the board. Okay, so I love, 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 love this defense. Um, this guy right here on the right side, um, if you were to do this, you can do the same basic thing out of cover two man. And I'll show you just one little secret against trips head in. So let's say that they are max protecting a lot. What you want to do is you want to put the safety into an inside quarter zone. You can kind of bluff blitz them like this to try to trigger their mental uh, state to go, I need to max protect. And watch what this guy, this inside quarter on the right side, watch what this will do. Uh, to the crosser out of PA counter go and again you see see that right there see the right side he kind of matches on his number three so he'll take number three no matter what so now you're in a situation because the player that they're going to beat you with out of trips is 100% going to be that number three receiver so you can either do cover two man or you could do cover one they're both basically the same but I want it to be a little bit simpler so you know again that you can just do the simplified version of that um, and you'll be fine but now what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk through uh, just real quickly a coverage scheme off of this so we're going to still come out of cover one linebacker blitz like i said you could also do it out of the cover two if you wanted to okay either one is they work the, basically the same so show blitz you're going to bring this guy down now what we're going to do is we're going to bluff them okay so we're going to do we're going to globally blitz our linebacker still just in case you know we get a look or whatever and they catch us but now if you take a look all we have to do is drop the linebacker in the deep blue or what i like to do is this i like to flat both of my linebackers, so you see we're going to get flat coverage across the board here. And then what we're going to do um, is we're going to take this guy, Jackson. Uh, you can crash your line out if you want to. You will get better sheds if you crash your line out. But we're gonna what we're going to do is we're going to take Jackson here, and we're going to put him on a bluff blitz assignment. Now, again, we're anticipating that they're probably going to be blocking their running back, right? If they don't block their running back, and let's say he goes on an out route or an angle route or an in route, or a little table route, we have him covered. If he goes on a wheel, we need to poach with, or we need to kind of t t take that in with our guy. Most people aren't putting the running back on a wheel, especially out of trips tied in. Most people, that running back's going to be on either a out route, an in route, an angle route. Those are the three best or most popular routes that you are going to get out of this. Okay, that that you're gonna you're gonna see. So now what you're going to notice here is, and again, if this happens, you just, I mean, you just man line until the guy goes back down that's fine but anyway here's your, here's your here's your covered shell so now we've got all this you know all this stuff and 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 what you're going to see here is we're going to open okay man okay we got the three rack we got the hard flat and you see i mean everything's basically going to be covered the biggest thing you have to watch out for and this is why i really like to play this in particular coverage defense um specifically against you know di different uh formations we're putting both linebackers in flats. What that's going to do is it's going to stop drag routes, slant routes. It's going to stop some of that stuff that is so popular. It's going to stop running back out routes. It's going to stop running back in routes. It's going to stop all that stuff. So we're going to take a lot of underneath stuff away. Now all I have to worry about in a, in a user position is, is simply to take away uh, the um, – uh, sorry, I butchered my words there. All I have to do is uh, take away the crossing route. So literally, 
You know, and you could be in a situation where, like I said, if you wanted to roll something or whatever, you could. But this is a three-man rush in which you're going to get really good sheds, by the way. Uh, because nickel triple, the, the alignments of the pass rushers are really advantageous to the three-man rush type of, uh, type of deal. Okay, so you're in this defense right here. If you want to, you could shade your coverage up and play cloud flats. Um, and then have, you know, no, no real reason to take anything over the top. Right? But let's say they go... Let's, let me just give you a, a route combo, uh, something that's very popular, something like this, okay, is a very good route combination for this style of defense. Um, but if you take a look here, we're just going to kind of come in here, give our guys time to recover, and then we're bailing back to the skinny post. And, I mean, there's very little open on this play. So the, the cover one really is one of my favorite coverages in the entire game to merge with a – cover one um or a cover one blitz concept and then a cover one coverage concept really probably my favorite way to play madden right now i'm having a ton of fun with this defense again if you're worried about getting burned over the top shade over shade over inside and over top would be my recommendation because most outbreaking routes aren't going to kill you this year post routes are the are the big the big fish so if you shade inside and over top and i'll show you what i'm talking about so um let me send uh, evans to the post and then we're going to do our same thing. So we're going to shade inside and over top now. And what you're going to see, we'll do the exact coverage that I just sh shared with you, which you can actually set up fairly quickly. And then I'm just going to kind of stay underneath here with my user just to kind of try to illustrate this. But what you'll see is now we shaded inside over top. And this is an average corner. And you see Evans, Evans is basically bagged. You put a good corner, a good defensive back there, you're going to have a pretty good shot at stopping the post. So... Anyways, I went a lot longer than I wanted to, but I got excited. I, I hope you really learned a lot in this video. This is a fun defense. It really is. Uh, I think you guys are going to love this. If you want to learn more about this defense, the full defensive ebook is in my Patreon. You can join the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you'd like, so you don't have to stay signed up. You, it's a month-to-month -month deal, right? And then the cool part about that is as soon as you sign up, you're going to get immediate access to not only the nickel triple, which is the full defensive ebook of what we're talking about today, but you're also going to get access to all of my exclusive tips. Um, you're going to get access to all of my ebooks as well. I've got 13 offensive and defensive guides with more on the way. So trust me when I tell you that there's no shortage of material in that Patreon. You will learn a ton about defense, I think. And uh, we got a ton of good offenses too, but with the way the game plays this year, I've really tried to get better on defense because defense is super hard this year. This defense right here is the, probably the most dominant defense that I've put together up till this point. So thanks for watching. You want to learn the nickel triple stuff, link is in the description to join the Patreon. So if you're still watching, you want to check that out, head on down to the description of the video and click on that Patreon link and you can go get signed up and uh, check out all the stuff.